Hello, this is the Crazy Man 7777 again. And the same month, four, or not the same month, uh, within one month of the last uh, look at World of Tanks and its current updates, this time around we are going to be looking at what is going on with World of Tanks and Halloween this year. Because it is a little bit more exciting than last year, I would say it's even more exciting than last year. Or whatever. Anyway. So. Uh, as you can see in the background, we have not actually had an official update, but we have had a lot of interesting things, some interesting premium tanks, some interesting uh, game modes that are going to be, yes, actually, some interesting game modes that are going to be showing up, as well as a current events going on in World of Tanks to earn one of three hero tanks. So, what's going on? Well, first, uh, you guys have to know that we are going to be looking at one of the four monster tanks that are going to be in this game. And what do I be my monster tank? They are tanks. They are the hero tanks. Uh, all but one of them can be earned for free. The one that cannot be earned for free is a KB-5, of course. And each of them is modified in their own special way, although I would honestly say the KB-5 is the worst looking one so far. But that's gonna be, that could be to your own opinion. And I'll stick... Uh, bunch of pictures of what all these guys look like before we load in here. Anyway, so, I have the Craft Panther, which you guys might have uh, already seen if you're paying attention, a picture of, before I loaded. And this one, you could already notice, is really cool looking, and it actually makes the screen go darker. And you will also notice that it has the default Panther G turret, I believe, that goes on the normal Panther from World War II, rather than the uh, proclaimed or uh, prototyped Schmaltern turret, or however you like to pronounce that, that is available as the, the, is only available with the upgrade gun. The, uh, I mean, the upgraded gun is only available with this turret, and that kind of makes me sad. So, I'm really happy to see that World of Tanks has added a Panther that is, to the letter, a uh, sniper Panther from World War II, even with uh, the skull and cross on it, although it's not specifically the death set, it's kind of close. We have all kinds of battle damage here, you can see a huge shell hit it right there, and right on the front and a bunch of little bullets and all kinds of cool stuff plus we've got the uh, Zimmerit armor on and I've even got the little emblems on here on both sides and that is where the sign for the German cross would normally go but instead I have replaced it with the Revenant emblem and we'll look at the emblems real quick that's mostly what I can show you guys I don't have all of the um, I don't have all of the monster tanks that I showed off in the pictures, uh, which is why I showed them off in the pictures. So, here's the Gornik, uh, the Kaiju, the Revenant, and the Lycan. And, of course, the Revenant is also known as the Crafts Panther. Crafts Panther, uh, because, as you can see, the little cartoon guy, Carl Craft, drives it from the World Tanks rollout series. And that was a lot of information in about three minutes, or four minutes. So, slow down a little bit, we'll look at what the prices are in the store of these things. The Monster Mega Pack is the only one that comes with the Gornick KV-5, and it is uh, about like 150 or more dollars uh, in US. And the Monster Mega one comes with every tank except for the KV-5, and that one is also more than $100, actually these are really expensive. But anyway, and then we can see the three that we can get by themselves, the Revenant, the Lycan, and the Kaiju. And uh, I'll also show you guys the op for getting the free tank. It culminates in 190 points, which at minimum is 190 kills. Uh, as you can see from the rules down here, you know, one to three kills is one point, four to five is uh, three points, and five points is six or more kills 
So, pretty simple if you miss it, just go back and look at that. I That's pretty much the rules right there. That's been going since the 10th, and at this point it might be a little bit late for anybody to start since 190 kills takes a while. But you can do it in less than 190 kills if you get, uh, actually, no, now that I think about it, no. Um, 190 kills is actually the minimum. So, uh, anyway, of course, if you kill people, a lot more people in one game, then you would have go faster. But anyway, uh, I digress. Other than this cool aesthetic back here, the uh, monster tanks do have another special event that coincides with the uh, Spectre tanks. Uh, that are returning and for those who don't know what that is I will put a link in the description of exactly what the Spectre looks like uh, platooning episode basically of the Spectre where I completely fail but nevertheless you'll be able to see it in there and of course the links will also have all the other information that I used anyway uh, during this time, when at the 29th to the uh, 31st, when the Spectre comes out, we will also have the Awakened Forms in a special matchmaking of each of the monster tanks. Uh, each of the monster tanks, uh, each of the four monster tanks, will have their own special look and their own special flavor of uh, completely overpowered to semi overpowered abilities in their own mode, so of course we won't be trolling everybody in the regular modes, thank god. Uh, anyway, uh, the Lycan T-71 will have huge improvements in speed, accuracy, and rate of fire, and it will be invulnerable to falling damage, but this is only during the time that its clip is loaded. Once its clip is unloaded, it will, not be, it will be vulnerable once again and it will not have all those cool abilities. And then the Revenant Craft Panther will have uh, a vulnerable turret, but a nearly invulnerable hull uh, signature, but you can already see kind of what's going on with that uh, right in the game. And it actually can blend into tank wreckage, which is interesting. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. It's going to be pretty interesting. Um, I might have to make a whole episode of me trying and failing to even do any of this stuff. And it will move slower than usual, but it is impossible to track. Uh, and I assume that not only is it impossible to spot, but it is also impossible to uh, stop it from moving. And then we have the KB-5 Awaken. It spits fireballs, uh, can ignite, uh, and which can ignite enemies and it slowly regenerates health, so basically it's a uh, dragon. And then we have the kaiju, which shoots uh, basically at fireballs again, uh, under the name Atomic Breath, but it is immune to the fire breath from the Yornik KV-5, and it uh, has multiple kinds of shells. It can shoot lightning, and it can uh, repair damage modules super fast. So. There's all the things, and hopefully I put pictures for all of them somewhere in here. Uh, that was hopefully short for the amount of information that I had to put in the video. And I hope you guys uh, come on World of Tanks and at least check out the Spectre mode. That's completely free. You don't have to earn yourself a Craft Panther or whatever, or pay 50 bucks or however I did it. But completely free. Just come on down. Get your ear, uh, unless you don't have an Xbox, of course, and you can play with all oh, crazy man uh, for a little bit on Halloween weekend.